Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Youth Squad Stars here with Cambridge United. Right, there's only going to be two games in today's episode and you're probably thinking, what, what? The only reason being is obviously it finishes off March nicely, but it's because it's the check of trade. I didn't want like three games in and then only have like a small amount of the final sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is for the next two episodes, there's only going to be two games in each of the episodes. So like the one after this, we'll just have the check of trade and the Barnsley game. Um, Basically that way, because it's a final, a chance to win this um, um, silverware at the club um, for the first time, I thought that would be like you know more uh, better to have like more of the highlights and stuff like that, um, regardless of whether we win or not. You know because obviously if we do win, there's obviously the presentation and stuff like that. But if we don't, then you know it's still I want the highlights in 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 there. Um, so that is my thought process um, behind it. Like you know what I mean regarding um, the next couple of episodes like going up anyway. And um, yeah, I mean. These two episodes are pretty big. I mean, the fact that we're up against the leaders, Portsmouth, um, in today's episode, but also in the second one, not only is it um, Coventry in, in the Checker Trade final, it's Barnsley who are actually in second place, who we are literally, you know, knocking on the door of, of, of getting above them, you know, with regards to where we are in the league, as you can see, one point um, behind them. Depending on obviously their result, um, who they are up against, who are they up against? Uh, they're up against Colchester, who we, we beat, okay. So they, they'll probably beat Colchester, um, so that game is going to be um, a crucial one. But that's my thought process in, in regards to these next couple of episodes. I hope you guys understand and, and why that is, and hopefully that'll be alright because that way you get to see a little bit more of um, certain players that you don't necessarily get to see that are like around the goal situation and you get to see them just like, like kicking it around in the middle of the park. So anyway, enough of me rabbiting on, um, let's crack on and let's take on the league leaders. Um, Portsmouth, who are 10 points ahead of us. We could maybe like, like claw them back a little bit, but I've got a feeling um, a point would be great three points would be fantastic you know that's how, how i'm seeing it like so let's see how we get on so um as the two teams um, line up for this one we're both um, obviously just recently played um a couple of days ago so we're both that's why our staminas are both down on each side but they are the strongest two sides that are possible to be put out um, with regards to how it is we're going with um this new formation which seems to you know going by the um, the last episode seems to work um the only downside we got is like is that Rhodes um is in on the left um, side of um, the midfield because um we obviously with Hyder being out injured Patrick played last game he's like not fully he's he's way down he's like half like stamina so I was like looking at Rose and he, he can um, play in the left mid as well as like left back whereas Green Tree is only a left back and right back so I just that's why Rhodes is in um, um, in that position and that is my you know um, the only downside to, to this but it shouldn't be too bad um, yeah thanks for your feedback regards in um, obviously the last episode guys you guys um, are massively supportive and stuff like that and I think you're all happy with the way that this formation is now um, it definitely um, seems to be working um, and we're glad that I've got the settings everything um, sorted so let's see how we get on against um, the top dogs in the league so it's good to see um, a proper stadium um, with Fratton Park here um, obviously ports of once off in the Premier League um, so they've still got their, their stadium in the game like so um, audio is doing its weird thing again where it sounds like um, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith are a little bit sort of drunk or something. Warren. Don't know why it does that. I've no idea. And, uh, Warren looking to push forward, get maybe one of the two strikers involved. Here's JB3. Clark, Clark now. Ah, JB3 made a run, then he he, he stopped, and I'd already decided to chip it over the 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 player there, but he came back. Pretty cagey affair so far. Um, Obviously, Portsmouth not wanting to lose, you know, top spot. They're not going to lose it straight away, but they don't want to lose any points on any of the chasing teams. But also, we we don't want to get our asses like you know handed to us like in the fact that we get absolutely murked by like going forward too much. So Rhodes does well. This ball, oh, oh gerbil somehow. I think on Pepper put off the striker there. Uh, he didn't really get goal side of him. He let him get. He pushed off him and got the goal side. Got the better like hit on it. Just bad defending, really. 
Can he go straight? They are. It's come off roads. Gerbil gets a punch. That's not the best. I could do with him catching that. No, Jake Warren heads it out. I mean, a punch was back across the goal. It wasn't the best um, place to punch it. Played in again. Pressure is, is mounting here from Portsmouth. Rhodes just tried to get that forward, but just not able to get good connection on the ball. Yeah, it's just a matter of time now by Portsmouth. But Sherbel's keeping us in this. Another great save from him. Oh, no, poor cross in. Well, Gerbil is definitely having a game here. He is keeping us in this game. Well done. Played out here. Uh, this is a good chance. Chance. Oof. Luckily, they didn't pick anyone out. And that has gone out. Well, half time, and we've managed to contain Portsmouth, but you can just tell why they're top of the league right now. We can do second half. I think, like I say, if you get a point from this, be happy to get a point. And three points would be great. It's JB3 now. And he squeezes through the gap. No, every time we try to just play it, they're just so weak with the passing. It's like every goddamn time you play a pass, like they just stick a foot or something just to take off the direction of the pass or, you know, the, slow it down so it doesn't have the, you know, the speed to get to the player, stuff like that. I'm pepper now. God, this, I think because of the rain or something, it just slows the ball massively. When you're trying to play it across the ground, I don't know, it's like the grass is too long or something. It's just, it's not fizzing across the, uh, in the you know, the, the ground. It's just like clagging up. It's just terrible. Clark now through. Holton, chance over the top here. JB3 goes first time. You know, thought, get, at least get a shot on target. Berhams, there we go. It's 88th or 89th minute. We can actually make a change. Jesus, look at Warren. All right, we can make three changes. Not going to make much difference. And if they uh, uh, get a touch of the ball, I don't know. They're going to make Brett Pittman is going to come on for Hawkins. Um, we're going to bring our three players on. Haugen's going to come on for JB3. We've got um, uh, Tomo coming on for Clark, and we've got Bollington coming on for Jake Warren. Sees Mahoney through. It's my oh. Are you kidding? I am literally just pressing shoot then and he's just taken off his foot. And that's it, no, no. I literally pressed shoot and it's like, it's, the poster player slid in and took it off his foot. He's right through. I can't believe that. Our only major chance there. Like, there's the highlights, Danger Gerbil with both of them. Well done to him, like, but both, I mean, that, I suppose when you look at how many shots in that game in the possession, yeah, nil nil has got it written all over it, hasn't it? Like, so, but Danger Gerbil should get man of the match. He's not getting it. Um, it's, it's Morris. <laughs> yeah. Why? I do not know why he's got man of the match. That is ridiculous. Danger Gerbil gets the two major highlights for two great saves, but yeah, it doesn't get man of the match, um, even though it's nil nil. But anyway, um, that's another episode. We're up against 10th place Lincoln now. John Akinde's men. Um, if he's still there, that's the thing. Whether he's still there. But yeah, that's who we're up against. Um, Lincoln City um, is, is, is who we're going to face now. And hopefully it's not raining because it just ruined the pitch completely. That did. Um, it just wasn't... It just The grass was far too long and the, and the ball was just like going really, really slow. But anyway, let's take on Lincoln. Right, just wanted to quickly show you guys um, that John Akinde is at um, Lincoln. You're probably thinking, well, then why isn't he playing? A lot, he's been red carded, so that is why. And this is all they've got. There's, I can't go down any further. They've, that's all they've got, reserves. Um, and they've got one, two, and then Jilts as well. Where is he? <laughs> Three goalkeepers like, in their like, sort of reserve. You can see Erdley's like, just sort of kind of back for injury. He's a right back. He's 65 and they're right back. Um, Oh, he's a centre back. What? Okay, uh, I didn't even notice that. Right, so we'll we will put him in. All right, he's it. What the hell is going on here? All right, so he's a CDM. Okay, I didn't even check those things. Right, we can put that CDM in there actually. But yeah, I was just just wanted to just sh show you that Johnny Kinde is there. I think that's that's a better side for him now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 
but I can't play him. So yeah, apologies um, um, for that one. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, Lincoln to get things off and running. I didn't actually check the weather, but looks like we're all right. We've got no we've got no spots of rain like sort of falling, so it must be just maybe overcast or something. So that's something. <laughs> Hopefully the the ball will move a little bit smoother than it did in the last game. Position, Patrick, actually done round the corner. Green tree now. Can you get this ball through into Mahoney? Oh, he lashed at it. Uh, I think um, his eyes lit up there, lashed at it a little bit. Uh, over and, and just put too much power on it and didn't get the direction, which is a shame. Bellington intercepts, laid off here by Richardson. Muzz now through Holton's away here. Sam Holton. Plays it across. This oh, it's the post. Oh, I was just about to say this time he, he's he's netted it, but wow. Try and get Holton. Not able to win it. Marsden does well. Wellington. Oh, okay. No. Oh, you got to be kidding. Not another winger. Oh no, this is not looking good. We're not going to have any wingers for the well, for Wembley right now. Well, Patrick Garber, you're going to have to come on earlier than what I expected. And as, like I showed, like I said, your fitness isn't as good as what Holton's was. What it's, it's better than what is is right now. Oh, this is just not good. Um, right. Well, let's get rid of that jet lag, Patrick, and. See what we can do. Hopefully, Holton's not out for too long, but it's never good when you have to like, make an enforced substitution. It's, it's always usually a long time or thing. Never see the player actually hobbling off, do you? Right, Muzz through here to Mahoney. Can he do? Waiting for extra players. Here is Muzz. Not the best ball through, but it's fallen to Batrick, who's going to strike this, and that's a great finish. And there we go. I'm not entirely sure where our away fans actually are sitting. Uh, nice, nice movement. I've got some kind of hair or something that keeps getting on my nose here. Well, the away fans aren't over there. I'm not entirely sure where they're sitting. Oh, this bloody bugging me, this is. Oh, do unhappy with that one? Oh, Richardson intercepts. Can you get it through to Mahoney? You can. This time, Trevor. Yes! There it is. Third time lucky. <laughs> Top goal scorer at the club. Nets another one. I think this is 15th now. Nicely weighted ball through from Richardson and took his time, positioned himself, bang. It's kind of what I was trying to do with the Portsmouth one, and as I was about to do that, I got the ball taken off my foot, like, you know. They got something on that, Garber, into Richardson. It's going to go for this. Oh, he took a deflection and nearly went in. Oh. And he's through here to Mahoney, and he's going to lay this out here to Batrick. And Muzz is over the top here, if you can find it. Oh! Oh! What a ball from Rhys Patrick to pick him out. What a volley from Marco Musley. Well, I saw him making the run and I thought, yeah, he, he seen him running from deep here. Can he pick him out? And that is just a perfectly weighted pass. And it is just, oh. He's got two defenders, or three defenders in total all over him, but yet, yeah, he kept his composure and look at that beaming smile on his face. He's he's so happy with that strike. That is awesome. Well, he's got all the confidence. Well, switching you to the right right foot, it hasn't affected you, has it? Like, you know. In fact, did you hit that with your left? I don't know. I'm trying to think now. Inside here to Mahoney. Sees Harrison Richardson bursting through. Oh, is that a penalty? Yeah, yeah, 75 it is, not 73, 75. All right, okay then, Richardson, let's see what you can do with 75 penalties. Bang, there you go. 
Four nil in the first half. Well, well, such a difference. You know, I understand the game's going to make Portsmouth a tougher team to, to to play against. I get that. That wasn't my issue. With I was expecting a tough game against Portsmouth. The issue I had was the fact that it, it the ball didn't travel across the grass, and when it's wet, it normally fizzes across the ball. And they've made it no when it's wet. We'll have the grass really long and it'll just like just slow down in that Portsmouth game. That's all I was like getting at in the Portsmouth one. It wasn't the fact that Portsmouth were not, you know, other things were going against us. It was just that every time we were trying to pass a ball, it would just be massively slow and you could just feel that it was just getting really like claggy, you know, that sort of like just. You know, running. Through, you know, when you're trying to hit a ball through like cut grass, and the cut grass is still left on the grass. You understand what I mean? It felt like that. Moz now through Patrick surging forward. Can you pull this back to Mahoney? There we go. Now I wanted to take him off um, to rest him for the final, but he's on for a hat trick now. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of torn. Well, Reese Patrick's picked up a couple of assists as well in this. Um, right, we're going to change um, our two midfields. So Ballington and Marco Mosley are going to make way. Um, Patrick Lee Phillips will come on and also Tomo will come on. Um, just in mind of the, of the cup final, um, just to rest them. That's all. Um, Tomo, been quite loud since coming on. He's got um, Lee Phillips here. Strikes. Oh, and Lee Phillips has scored. And I think that's his first for the club. What a strike. Oh, wow, that just came from nowhere. I just thought I'd just hit this, like, you know. Well, Lee Phillips, nice one. I just thought, oh, why not? Just bang it. And he's like, hit that superbly. What a great strike. Nice one. I honestly think that's his first goal for the club. Uh, I don't think he scored before. I can recollect. Oh, it's Mahoney all the way back there. <laughs> doing defending. He's still doing well. Wow, that's well, that's well done from him. Tomo now. Play through here to Richardson. Richardson, Patrick. Oh, and that's number seven. Well, it was 7-1 against Coventry, it's 7-0 against Lincoln, and they are missing Johnny Kinde, aren't they? Um, well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it with excellent style. Great, like, nice curl on it, using the defenders in front of him to, to, to sort of, like, shield his, like, where he was intending, and keeper was outstretched but wasn't able to get that. And uh, I think Reese Batchett might pick up man of the match because I think he got two assists already and a goals and he'll probably get man of the match for that. Even though Trevor's bagged too. It's really fine that Reese Batchett will get man of the match. <sighs> They're just giving it straight away to Trevor. Wasn't able to just hold that up though. Uh, on current form, you'd have to say that's promotion form right there. Like it, um, and it's what a, what a confidence booster to go into the cup final. Yeah, Reese Patrick, 10 out of 10 performance. As you can see, 16 shots, 8 on target, 7 of those 8 hitting the back of the net. And Mahoney gets 9.4, Richardson 9.6. We've got a 9.4 from Marco Mosley. Uh, yeah, what? look at just great performance. I mean, Sam Holton, yeah, he got injured, but he still got a 7. Um, it's the final, yes, coming up in the next episode. Um, eight weeks, I've just seen that there. Yeah, Cambridge United's Holton is set for an eight weeks on the sidelines. If we can beat Barnsley, then I think it's between a two, it becomes a two horse race then between us and South End. Portsmouth, I think, pretty much have got the title. I think they're, I mean, they're, they're definitely, I'd say they're definitely going up, but. Um, and, and along with it, I think they'll get the title. Thanks very much. Oh no, what am I going about? Thanks very much. We need to do luck of the dice. God, nearly lost what I was doing there. Okay, so some luck of the dice is required. And we could do is it saying on luck of the dice, um, player suddenly becomes a superb like winger. 
<laughs> something like that. Um, it's not going to happen. I know I've not got a scenario like that, but anyway, let's see who it's going to be. It's going to be the bottom of the screen. Okay, let's see then which person is it going to be. It is going to be number 11. It's Malcolm Clark. All right, Malcolm, let's see if it's going to be um, first or second lot. Second lot of scenarios. Is it going to be something good? It's number 11. Seems to get quite a few times we get number 11. Good job I like rotate these um, things around. Uh, right, Malcolm Clark has a 1v1 match against Mo Salah. Oh, this actually come from Lee Ralph. Uh, Lee Ralphson submitted this one. Sometimes Lee is in the chat, um, sometimes he's not, but Lee Ralphson, he submitted this one. So he basically says that, um, that Malcolm Clark has a 1v1 versus Mo Salah and then gets plus 5 to his finishing. Wow, because the player wins. Brilliant. That's a, that's a great one Like to have. Like There we go. Um, Malcolm, um, plus five to your finishing. That is sweet. Yeah, getting plus five on your on your um, on your um, uh, on your finishing is, is is brilliant. But anyway, guys, one of those would be massively appreciated. Um, yeah, I will catch you obviously on Monday. Uh, not Monday. Today's Monday. On Wednesday um, for the cup final. Yeah, um, along with the game against Barnsley. But let's see how we get on um, and we can see if we can lift um, our first bit of silverware uh, there we go thank you very much for tuning in guys I massively appreciate your support obviously go check out the Patreon channels guys um, that's Sneaky um, which is Jake Warren's channel go check out Marco Mosley's channel um, as well and also go check out Pat Garber's channel which is Long Live Pat Back and go check those guys out but anyway you take it easy and I'll catch you next time it's Dave from Gaming signing off cheers